Welcome children. Today's topic is conjunction. Before explaining the topic, let me tell you what is a conjunction. A conjunction is a joining word that is used to join words, group of words or sentences together. For example, it is raining but I have to go out. These conjunctions are divided into three parts. Number one, coordinating conjunctions. Number two, subordinating conjunctions. And number three, correlative conjunction. Now, let me tell you what is a coordinating conjunction. Coordinating conjunction are conjunctions that joins together sentences or clauses or even rank or order is called a coordinating conjunction. The chief coordinating conjunctions are fan one. That means you can use F A N B O Y S. F stands for for. A stands for and. N for not. B for but. O for or. Y for yet. And S for so. For denotes cause and effect. For example, keep the money ready for you may pay quickly. N denotes two similar things or ideas. For example, Sita and Gita went to school. Nor denotes not. For example, neither Rita has come nor has a brother. But indicates contrast. For example, it is rainy but I have to go out. Or indicates a choice between two things. For example, she must weep or she will die. Yet means at the same time or nevertheless. For example, she had paid the money yet she was sent to prison. So denotes cause and effect and also join ideas with a logical connection. For example, there was no train at night. So we had to sleep on the platform. Other coordinating conjunctions of contrast are however, nevertheless, nonetheless, only, still and whereas. Other coordinating conjunctions of choice is otherwise. Therefore, is also a coordinating conjunction of deduction and reasoning. Now, let me explain about subordinating conjunction. What is a subordinating conjunction? When a word joins a clause to another or which it depends for its full meaning. It is called a subordinating conjunction. The cheap subordinating conjunction depicting time are after, before, when, since, till, as soon as, until. Subordinating conjunctions depicting cause and effect are because, so, as and whether. Subordinating conjunctions depicting conditions are unless, as long as, provided, that, so long as, if and why. Subordinating conjunctions depicting contrast are although, though, whereas, even if and whenever. Subordinating conjunctions depicting reasoning are because, as and since. Subordinating conjunctions depicting purpose are so and so that. Subordinating conjunction depicting place are where and wherever. Some examples of subordinating conjunctions are Number 1. He ran away because he was afraid. Number 2. Rekha will come if she is invited. Number 3. Tell me that I will come. Number 4. Will you wait till I return? Now, let me explain about correlative conjunctions. Conjunctions that work in pairs to join phrases of words that carry equal importance within a sentence Correlative conjunctions including pairs are both and, either or, neither nor, no sooner than, if then, not but, whether or, not only but also. Some examples of correlative conjunctions are Number 1. Not only did he rob her but also killed her. Number 2. Either they will come here or we shall go, have to go. And with this I am ending my today's class. Goodbye.